scientists in South Africa are monitoring a new variant of coronavirus, which has an unusually high mutation rate. According to the National Institute for Communicable Diseases, the frequency of the new variant has increased in recent months. The variant is known as C12. It was flagged last week by the KwaZulu Natal Research and Innovation and Sequencing Platform in a study that is yet to be reviewed. The majority of South Africa's COVID-19 cases are caused by the Delta variant, which was first identified in India. C12 caught scientists' attention because its mutation is almost twice as fast as observed in other variants. The variant has been detected in less than 3% of genome sequence since it first emerged in May. The frequency remains relatively low. NICD scientists say that C12 is only present at very low levels and that it was too early to predict how it might evolve. A researcher said, and I quote, at this stage, we do not have experimental data to confirm how it reacts in terms of sensitivity to antibodies. We have considerable confidence that the vaccines that are being rolled out in South Africa will continue to protect us against severe illness and death. So far, C12 has been detected in all of South Africa's provinces. It has also been detected in China, Mauritius, New Zealand and Britain. However, the C12 does not qualify as a variant of interest or variant of concern yet. Highly transmissible Delta and Beta variants, which were first detected in South Africa, fall into this category. South Africa is the hardest hit African country due to the pandemic. So far, it has recorded 2.7 million COVID-19 cases. The beta variants drove the second wave of infections in December and January. The country is now grappling with a third wave dominated by the Delta variant. South African scientists have identified a new coronavirus variant called C.1.2 that has concerning number of mutations and has the potential to become a variant of concern. National Institute of Communicable Diseases said while the Delta variant has been a dominant variant in the third wave, the C.1.2 could become the dominant variant in the fourth wave. According to the researchers, there are concerns that this SARS-CoV-2 variant of interest has been associated with increased transmissibility, neutralization resistance and disease severity. The new variant was first identified in May in South African provinces of Pumalanga and Gauteng. It's since been found in seven other countries in Africa, Oceania, Asia and Europe. And I see the researchers have said that at this stage they do not have experimental data to confirm how the new variant reacts in terms of sensitivity to antibodies. But they have confidence that the vaccines that are being rolled out in South Africa will continue to protect against severe illness and death. This is Kaldan Ongmu from Johannesburg, South Africa. For We On, World is One.